What's up YouTube? This is Daxorce Rex here again with you guys. Today, I've got a special unboxing for you guys. I want to let you know this is going to be a two-part. I'm going to have one today. I'm going to have one in the next couple of days for you. I wanted to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to apologize for uh, the delay in video. I know it's been about a month, month and a half since I put out my last one. Um, you know, money's been a little tight. I haven't had a chance to go out and get anything too open for you guys. And I do apologize for that. Like I said, I'm doing this on my own with no help from anybody else. So I'm trying to make it work while I can. Um, today, I'm going to be opening these Chaos Packs. Got two of them here. One and two. Then I'm down at the local Walmart. And before anybody says, well, Dak, uh, why don't you support your local game store? Well, my local game store is half an hour away. And I don't always have time to go up there, make an hour round trip to go up there and get stuff to open for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm barely up there to play FNM, you know, maybe once or twice a month. So when I am up there, I don't really try to get something because I love supporting my local game store. Don't get me wrong, my local Walmart's five minutes away. So sometimes it's easier for me to go there and get something than it is to go, you know, an hour away to get something for you guys. And this also gives you a chance to see for people that don't have a local game store around them to see maybe what their local Walmart has, see if they're interested in picking it up. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for the 3.4k views that I got in my last video. I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm very grateful. Thank you guys for all your support. Just wanted to uh, thank you guys for all the positive feedback that you're giving me, all the tips and tricks you can to help make my videos better. And I'm going to try to incorporate those so I can make my videos better over time for you. And even the negative feedback, I welcome that too because that helps me figure out um, what direction I need to take and what I'm doing wrong so I can get better and make better content for you guys. But anyway, I digress. Let's get to cracking these bad boys open and I'll show you what's inside. So, for this chaos pack, it was uh, 1998, so it was about $22 after tax, $21, $22 after tax. So what it's got, it's got six packs in it. it features six assorted boosters from recent magic sets and one promo card. So. Unleash the Chaos. Build your decks from classic magic packs. The Magic the Gathering Chaos 6 pack includes six randomly assorted booster packs from recent magic history, perfect for hosting Chaos drafts with your friends or expanding your collection. And it also includes one promo card. So let's open this first one up and see if I got my money's worth out of it. Huh? Handy dandy knife here. And as I did with the Mystery Planeswalker pack, I'm gonna try to put my promo card away and we'll save that one for last. So let's see. Oh. There's the promo. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Let's see what we got here. Got Kaladesh, Shadows over in a strad. Battle for Zendikar. Gate crash you. This is not looking good. Theros and Fate Reforged. I don't know much about these because I didn't start getting into magic until 2015, late 2015, early 2016. So I can't really tell you guys much about any of this set, but this stuff I know about. So let's just start right off with the gate crash, I guess. Let's see what that yields for us. Let's see what we got here. Shadow Slice. are uncommons. Our rares, immortal servitude. Like I said, I, I know nothing, nothing about these older sets. Which I, I feel like I should, but I don't. You know, and that's my fault. Um, so let's move on to Theros here. I don't really know what any of the big money pieces are or anything like that. Omen speaker. Oh, there is a foil in this pack, I'm fairly certain. Rare is Arbor Colossus. Foil Dauntless Onslaught. Let's put that up there. We'll put you there. Fate Reforged. 
any uh, info that you guys could give me about maybe these older sets would be nice. Like I said, I don't know much about them. The set symbols look familiar, but... A rare scroll of the masters. And a polluted delta. Wow, two rares in one pack, huh? Hmm. That's cool. So I don't really know a whole, whole lot. But I'll take it, I guess. Two rares in a pack, that's cool. We'll do Battle for Zendikar next. Polluted Delta, why does that sound so familiar? Man, I can't even get this one open. This is where you get the expedition lands and stuff. That'd be cool. Pull one of those out. There's a foil here. From the Beyond and Bane of Balagin. Huh. Got a Gideon emblem. Awesome. Too bad we didn't get the Gideon to go with it. Shadows over in Eight uncommons, or eight, yeah, eight commons here. Sorry, guys, I can't talk to you. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. That's strange. Ooh, Port Town, that's a goodie. Automobile Glow for a flip card. Foil Mountain and then a forest. Port Town, that's a goodie. I like the Port Town. Kaladesh, and we all know about Kaladesh all too well because I open boxes upon boxes upon boxes of that. Toolcraft exemplar for a writer. <laughs> and our promo is da -da 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 -da. Dolly's Lancers. Ah, well, that sucks. I don't think I made my money back with this one. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not quite sure on any of the older sets. And, you know, I feel a little stupid not knowing anything about them. But, you know, say la vie, you live and you learn. I guess I'm going to have to start looking into them. I'm more of a standard player. I don't really delve into the whole modern or legacy or vintage or any of that. Box two, let's see what we got here. Promo off to the side. They could have packaged that a little better. Let's see. Another Shadows. Another Zendikar. Another Kaladesh. Cons of Tarkir. Gate Crash and Born of the Gods. I feel like you're going to get these three in every one. And it's these that are going to be going to be different. It says six assorted, but I don't know. Open two, and we've got these in each one. So, I don't know. Moving forward. Let's see what we got here. In good old Born of the Gods. There is a foil here. Foil is Flame Reed Phoenix. It is a mythic, I believe. Can't see too well. Yeah, awesome. Full art type of aggression, huh? Gate crash. Ariel the War Leader. All right, that's not bad at all. Nice, another mythic. I do know Ariel. I do know the angels. I have a mad collection of angels. That's probably my favorite creature type to collect. Cons. 
not bad. REL is not bad. I'll take that. Ooh, tormenting voice. I do have a foil in here. Acropolis Fiend and a Soil Salt Road Patrol. Trying to get that expedition land out of the Zendikar pack, huh? That'd be nice. Pay for itself and then some. Nope, don't think it's gonna happen. Sanctum of Ugin. All right. I say all right, but I don't think it's all right. Oh well, like you get what you pay it for. I guess it's supposed to meant to be a uh, draft with friends. Avison's judgment. And Caliday. Masterpiece? Yeah. Okay. That would be too sweet. Tomb with Aether, huh? Electrostatic Pummeler. Alright. And our second promo is... Another Thalia's Lancers. Well, what do you know? Well, I don't think we got... Don't think we did too well on these. But let's see, let's recap what we got here. Electrostatic Pummel, Absence Judgment, Sanctum of Ugin, Necropolis Fiend, Ariel, that's what I'm most excited about. Got the Phoenix, Toolcraft Exemplar, Port Town, From Beyond, Scroll of the Masters, Polluted Delta, Arbor Colossus, and Immortal Servitude for our rares and mythics. <laughs> Excuse me. Salt World Patrol, Archetype of Aggression, Foil Mountain, Bane of Bogghead, Dauntless Onslaught. Well, if you're looking to make money, these are not the products to purchase. Um, I said I'm not looking to make money out of it. I, it would have been nice to make my money back, but it's not a priority. It was nice to be able to open something for you guys since I haven't in a while. Um, Really don't know what to say about this product. If you know, if you're looking for something quick to buy and you want to you want to expand your collection really quick with some old stuff and some new stuff kind of mixed together, then I would definitely pick it up. But other than that, I probably wouldn't. You know, if you guys like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave me your feedback, so I know uh, what I'm doing wrong and what I can fix, or if I'm doing a good job, if I'm taking a step in the right direction. So, I said like, comment. Uh, subscribe, share, word of mouth is the best way to go, and I uh, should have another video up for you guys in the next couple of days, something I've been waiting to open until I can make a two-part video for you. Uh, that's it. This is Dax Horse Rex signing out. You guys have a good one.